Welcome back, everybody, to Living 808. We have a few scary stories for you in today's energy innovation segment. Yeah, we head to Revolution's Innovation Center for some scary solar stories that have haunted PV customers. Revolution Smart Home and Innovation Center at Salt at Arcaca'ako. That's where we're at, and that's where we'll find the president and general manager of Revolution, David Gorman. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, Happy Halloween. It. Happy Halloween, this everybody. This is fun stuff, right? It is, yeah. Halloween. Okay, so it, because it's Halloween, I want to know, you have some scary stuff for us. Yeah, we do. We see a lot of scary stuff every day. Um, people don't know that we do a lot of maintenance um, for our photovoltaic system, solar hot water, air conditioning, and so we just wanted to talk about uh, how important it is to maintain all of these systems and what happens when you don't maintain them properly. So we've got some pictures for everybody to see. Yeah, what are we looking at right now? This system that we're looking at right now is dubbed the Manoa Mold of Doom. Um, it was pretty well covered. And so we go out there, you know, once a year and we clean those panels off and get them back in top performing condition. You know, this one particular system we clean, um, after we cleaned it, the production literally tripled. Um, another thing you want to be mindful of is the amount of shade that's casting onto the system. So if you do have trees, those trees, trees grow, and even though we don't do tree trimming, it's a good idea to you know, have somebody trim those trees so that you're not casting a shade on those panels all the time. You'll get a lot more production out of the system as well. Red dirt. Yes. It's found Red really dirt everywhere. Is everywhere. Yeah. So uh, that also poses some problems. It does. So if you live on the west side and it's drier, you have more dust in the air, a lot of the construction out on the west side as well, that kicks the dirt up into the air. And so, you know, panels are going to need to be cleaned and maintained uh, more often, um, really just to get that film of dirt off the panels. I want to do that you know, usually in the spring because you want to take advantage of the really good summer out there. And so, you know, if you're going to do it once a year, good time to do it is, you know, March or April. Get those panels nice and squeaky clean so that you're going to harvest all that sun in the summertime. Squeaky clean, <laughs> the doom. I, I, I totally appreciate all the, uh, the words here for Halloween. Um, but something that's not scary and that's actually very Christmas-like from Revolution is that you don't have to be a Revolution customer or have gotten your PV panels from Revolution for you guys to help with maintenance. We do, yeah. So it doesn't matter who installed uh, your original contractor who installed your system. Uh, we'll service it and maintain it for you. Um, we actually find there's a lot of people out there that we call orphan customers whose original contractor is no longer around. And so they'll hire us both to come out and clean and maintain the system. Also, you know, sometimes when the warranty is coming up on the you know, original contractor, they'll have us come out and do an inspection and just make sure their roof penetrations are you know, properly sealed and you know, everything is in tip-top condition. So we're happy to you know, give us a call. We'll come out and service anybody's system. You guys do just about everything. What other scary situations have you seen? So one of the you know, really scary things, we get calls from people uh, regarding their hot water. So they'll have a solar hot water system and they haven't you know, adequately maintained the tank. Um, you know, when you maintain the tank, you want to drain it and get all um, that sediment and everything out of the tank, change out those anode rods, because those anode rods are what really preserve the longevity of the tank. Uh, and people will call us and they'll have you know, a leaky tank in the garage and water everywhere, and they want us to come out tomorrow and swap out the tank. And we'll do our best and get out there as soon as we can. But you know, that's something I think people, it's kind of in the back of their mind that they know they have to maintain their tank. Some people don't even realize that they have to do it. And so you know, that's something every three to four years, you want to um, change out those anode rods and flush the tank and check those solar hot water collectors as well. One of the other things that we service is air conditioning. And we see some really scary stuff, even at my own house. Um, if you look at the filters, sometimes they get really caked and clogged. And you don't realize that you're breathing, you know, potentially like not nice air. Um, I just clean my own filters at the house. And, you know, really, this is a good time to service your air conditioner because your air conditioner has been working really hard all summer long. It's been pulling a lot of the moisture and dust and everything out of the air. And so your filters, as well as the internal components, um, it's, it's good to take that whole thing apart and give it a nice cleaning going into the winter when it's probably not going to be running as much. Um, so, you know, give us a call and have us come out and service your air conditioner. It's always so nice to be able to sit back and relax and, and chat with you, but you guys aren't relaxing. And in <laughs> fact, uh, with Breast Cancer Awareness Month, you guys were busy earlier on, hence the shirt. Yeah, so earlier this month, we did our annual uh, support of the Susan G. Komen uh, Race for the Cure. And, you know, we ran the race, we raised some money um, as well, and it's something that we've supported every year we've been, been in business. And it's, you know, something really near and dear to our hearts. So we were glad to participate. Just want to spread the word and the awareness out there. And it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so 
Thank you so much for all like you're doing. Do. Thank you for uh, everything you're doing for the community because there's solar. There's hot waters, there's air conditioners, there's a ton more roofing, there's a, so much more, and you guys are here to help. And it's at Salt at Arcacaaco where you can find Revolution Smart Home and David Gordon. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Makes sense. I mean, that was a great segment. Every, everything he talked about, I'm like, oh, I need to do that. Right? I know. <laughs> oh, I need to do that. And you know, we clean the filters, but I don't know, I, I, of the air conditioner, and I don't know that I, I don't think I've ever really wiped. Uh, some of the stuff that's See, underneath it, and yeah. those things have to have to be done. And if you don't want to do that, they'll do it for you, regardless of who put it in for you. Yeah. So. And actually, what he said about the trees, our neighbors' trees, very was very overgrown, mm. and it was kind of covering the um, the solar panels. Yeah. So things like that you don't think about. And then once you trim that back, and you know it has full exposure to the sun, yep. you know it's working a lot better. He said three times the output. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. All right, the scary stories continue after the break.